Hong Kong, what began as protests against a controversial extradition bill has transformed into the largest people power democracy movement of our time. These protests have brought together generations of Hong Kongers in a movement centered around five demands. Withdrawal of the extradition bill, universal suffrage, the immediate release and exoneration of all arrested protesters, an end to the protests being characterized as riots, and an independent investigation into police violence against the pro-democracy protesters. The Hong Kong government's response to the protest overall has unfortunately become increasingly violent. In November last year, I had the honor of meeting with young activists from Hong Kong. Meeting these courageous young Hong Kongers was truly remarkable. Their fight for democracy, at great risk to themselves and in the face of a daunting adversary, is an inspiration to all who value freedom and democracy. It's a beacon to those who are facing similar struggles around the world under all sorts of difficult conditions. The challenges facing these young Hong Kongers was a stark reminder that the struggle for democracy is not over. Over the past year, we've seen people power protests spread around the world in all sorts of different cultural and geographic contexts. They all have similar aims, to demand basic democratic rights, to put an end to government corruption, and to restore the rule of law. From Venezuela to Lebanon, from Bolivia to Sudan, people are turning out to reclaim their political freedoms and to demand governments that are responsive and accountable. Authoritarian regimes are taking note and getting nervous. In December, the Chinese Communist Party announced that it was placing sanctions on NGOs working to support democracy around the world, including IRI. IRI's resolve to help all people everywhere in their journey towards political freedom and representative government remains undaunted. We will continue to stand with Hong Kong and all people everywhere working for freedom and democracy worldwide.